Esteemed colleagues, it is a pleasure to be speaking with you at this historic gathering of global leaders, where we are striving to make progress against the greatest challenge we have ever faced. How can we grow collective prosperity and well-being while at the same time reducing and in many cases reversing our negative impacts on the health of our planet? Every country will forge its own path forward at its own pace, but one destination remains the same for all of us. Universal access to modern, affordable, and reliable energy. I would like to thank the World Bank's Energy Sector Management Assistance Program for the kind invitation to share Niger's vision, experience, and path towards sustainably providing universal access to modern energy for all. I would like to give you a quick orientation on Niger for those who have the chance to visit my country. As you may know, Niger is the sixth largest country in Africa and the largest in West Africa, with a rapidly growing population. We are currently 23 million in 2019, and we are growing at a growth rate of 3.9% per year. Niger's economy grew over the past decade and is among the most dynamic in the West African Economic and Monetary Union. However, the COVID-19 pandemic and the global fall in commodity prices have taken a significant toll on the economy and livelihoods. In addition, the spillover of the crisis in Mali and the Boko Haram regional crisis is causing a significant displacement of people towards and within Niger. Only about 20% of the population had access to electricity in 2020, with an unacceptable disparity between urban and rural areas, where 83% of the population lives. Only 5% of the rural population had access to electricity in 2020, compared to 86% in Niamey, the capital city. To address multiple challenges faced by Niger, the government has shifted its approach to move out of business as usual. To change the business as usual tra trajectory, the government of Niger has prepared a national electrification policy and a national electrification strategy approved by decree in October 2018 with the ambition to reach 80% access rate by 2035. Niger is also finalizing a master plan for generation and transmission to couple the demand with the needed supply. So clearly, planning is the first step. The second pillar of the government's approach is to provide the required investment to increase access. In that regard, the role of the private sector is key. The national electricity system of Niger is relatively small and fragmented into four unconnected grids that collectively make up the main grid system of Nigelec, the national utility company. Power supply on the main grid is heavily dependent on imports of cheap electricity from Nigeria and expensive domestic diesel-based generation. Forecasts of the power sector clearly indicate a need to increase generation capacity and a change in the system's configuration to meet the sustained annual demand growth of 10% per year. On the demand side, unprecedented investments would need to be mobilized, amounting to approximately $1.9 billion by 2025 to double the electricity access rate and set the country on a path to reaching 80% access by 2035. The government is working with its partners to mobilize the needed investment. A roundtable was organized in November 2020 to mobilize support from donors for the implementation 
of the first phase of the National Electrification Plan. A number of projects, in addition to existing projects, are under preparation by AFD, AFDB, and the multi-phase program by the World Bank. Alongside strengthening and interconnecting the Nigele grids and significantly increasing the share of renewable generation powering these main grid systems and focus on energy efficiency, Niger is deploying a suite of off-grid and clean cooking technologies to achieve its ambitious objectives. No technological solutions for investments could be sustainable without an adequate ecosystem which require reforms to set up the right regulation and create incentive for all players. Reforms are the third pillar of the government's approach. In that role, the government of Niger has been over the past years very progressive in implementing string reforms. This includes a cost-effective tariff implemented in 2018, Nigelex debt restructuring which makes Niger one of the rare countries, if not the only, in West Africa with cost recovery tariff with a pro-poor social tariff without government subsidies. The electricity code opened up the sector to private sector in generation and rural electrification. Last year, the government set up a framework for competitive and transparent selection of IPP based on sector planning. Going forward, the government will continue to champion more reforms based on lessons learned, international best practices, and the access agenda. The government is prioritizing the utilization of abundant renewable energy and more efficient technologies to ensure access to clean, affordable, and more reliable energy. Moreover, decentralized electrification are an integral part of the menu of technology solutions to accelerate access while ensuring social inclusion. Our efforts are focused on creating the enabling environment to unlock private sector innovation and catalyze scale. Hybrid solar mini grids provide quality reliable service for spurring economic opportunities, job creation, and improving the, li the living conditions of the communities. Last but not least, the government is investing in programs to support access to clean and efficient cooking technologies with significant health benefits for women and children in particular. These are very important initiatives aimed at avoiding deforestation as biomass is still used by 94% of households as cooking fuel today. With support from SMAP's Clean Cooking Fund, we plan to advance market development for more efficient cook stoves by leveraging public and private finance and innovation. Across all three of these technology solutions, as with expansions to the main grid, it is a priority for the government to ensure equitable access for all. This includes refugees and host communities, people living in conflict areas, remote villages, and residents of urban and peri-urban areas. In order to accelerate this transition, the government has made private sector participation in the generation segment, rural electrification, and household energy, key strategy for the development of the energy sector. The space for the private sector is huge. Renewable energy generation IPPs, mini grids, off grid, solar solutions, and more efficient clean cooking. This is our path. There will be course corrections, periods of rapid progress and setbacks but we have been and will continue to be supported by you the global community 
and ESMAP, the European Union, the African Development Bank, and many other development partners. And I invite you to come with us on our journey to achieving universal access to modern energy. Thank you.